Hi, welcome to another Infinity Train video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Sonata Bridge Kit from Warsenal. So, firstly, a little bit of forward disclosure. While we own a lot of Warsenal kits that we've purchased ourselves, Warsenal kindly sent us a couple of the Cinematic kits to review because we didn't actually have any of that in our own, uh, our own supplies. However, saying that, I've been so impressed with the kit that I'll actually be purchasing some myself for a board that we're going to be building. And I'll be doing that as part of the Black Friday offer, which Warsenal have running at the moment. So, if you're watching this video, Within a couple of days of it being released, go away onto the Warsaw site and check out their Black Friday offer, which is running to Cyber Monday, where you can get 30% off anything in their store. It's well worth picking this up at, the, at this time, whether you want after the Cinematic Kit, the Comanche Kit, so well, tokens, whatever it is in their store. So as I mentioned, really impressed with the quality of these kits and the modularity of these kits, and we will be building our own board out of these, um, these kits that we'll be purchasing ourselves. So, if we look at the kit first, this is this is quite a long piece at the moment. You can see it's basically it's similar to a lot of the what a lot of companies are doing since the Uprising book came out, which created the GSA split from Yujing. There's there's been a theme around some sort of Japanese terrain, effectively, and this is another nice kit um, that fits in with that same theme. So whether you mix and match with other supplies or whether you're just with the Warsnall stuff. At the moment, the Warsaw range on the Cinematic bit is a little bit limited. They will be expanding that. I've been in talks with them, and they, they mentioned that they do have plans to expand that. It's just finding time to fit it into their schedule. So it'll be interesting to see where they go with those ranges next. There will be another video that will go up today that will cover the Shrine Kit, which is another nice piece of kit. And then what we'll do is, at the back end of the Shrine Kit, we'll actually bring the two kits together to show you them joined together. So it's well worth watching that video as well. Now, these kits are actually um, built in, th in um, different sections, effectively. So if I, t if I take it apart, you'll see what I mean. So I'll just do that off screen quickly. So I don't end up snapping anything. So basically, what you can see that I've now done is I've separated off the bridge piece. And again, I can do the same to take the stairs off the, um, the covered canopy piece. So you'll get all of these pieces in the actual um, the bridge kit. However, you'll then assemble them however you wish, um, or you'll, you'll position them basically into sort of a modular kit when you actually come to use them on the board. So you don't obviously have to use all pieces. These pieces here act as kind of like a central joining point between other pieces, but there's nothing stopping, for example, if you had two bridge pieces uh, running on bridge, a uh, central piece, and then another bridge, for example. So let's take a look firstly at the bridge piece. So it's nice and wide. It will take, um, I'm guessing that will maybe take a 55 mil base. Unfortunately, I don't have one to hand. It will definitely take a 40 mil. I suspect it will take a 55 mil base as well. Um, I'll maybe put, put a comment into the notes once I've actually had a quick look at that, just to make sure it does. But I'm pretty sure that will take a 55 mil base. Now, in Infinity, obviously, cover is very important. Now, obviously, in order to maintain the kind of the realistic look of these bridges, they've left the walkway sort of sides as being railings. Now, what I suggest you do is obviously agree with your opponent what those railings count as before you start the game. I think in most cases, you probably actually count this whole railing piece as basically being cover um, because it's just realistic. Um, otherwise, you're, you're going you're gonna to struggle to get cover on, on, on the walkways. So I think you basically count them as being blocked effectively so that if someone was prone underneath, they would still get cover. Um, and if they were basically standing up, they would there would be enough of the silhouette blocked to give them cover. Um, so this is, this is it just goes together really well, to be honest. Like all other Warsaw stuff, it's really well engineered. There's some nice laser cut de detail onto it. And as I say, I like the fact that you can then basically bring the pieces together. So if we take a look at this piece here, you can see it's got some clear acrylic in the um, the pieces. Now that's just simply because they use clear acrylic when they're cutting the thinner pieces. Now obviously I'm going to be painting over that. I don't think you would generally leave this particular piece as, cl as clear. Um, there's no real reason for it. Most people will paint it as uh, maybe like a terracotta colour or a tile colour. Um, and you can see there's another piece of ac acrylic that just holds it together at the top. But again, you can see there's some really nice detail on this. And basically, all you're basically doing is you'll notice that these bits here have a couple of tabs here. And these tabs basically just click in. And bear in mind, these are completely fresh kits, so they will be a little bit stiff. Just clip in, basically, to give you that piece there. And then, obviously, you've got these little stairway pieces. Now, one of the great things about the stairway pieces is you'll notice that they're not solid underneath. You can actually put a base underneath, slide slightly underneath, depending on the size of your base, obviously, and that makes it a bit easier. Just gives you a bit more give on, get, on going upstairs. Um, if, if it actually cuts off in a dead block, then it's very difficult to position bases safely as you move a model up the stairs, whereas leaving that gap underneath 
makes it a little bit easier. And obviously it depends on the size of the base and if you've built up a lot of um, like resin or, or model pieces on top of the base. So again, then you can see I've just now clicked on. You can see how solid this is. I'm moving this around with one hand and it's not moving the piece at all. And, and now we've now got a route up over in, over the bridge. Now I'm not gonna bother putting the other piece on on this, on this video. Um, you, you've obviously seen that already. What I will do, however, is I will stick this onto the rotational um, turntable and I'll give you some, some um, long range shots of it actually going around so you can see the whole piece. So again, very impressed with this kit. Um, I'll be going on to cover the Sonata Temple next. Um, I would definitely worth ch checking out this. And there's some other of the War Snow stuff in our videos. If you have a look at the videos on, on the link in the YouTube itself, you'll see we've got some video new videos of some of the other War Snow kits, like the um, Comanche kit, which is another one that I really like. And as I say, I'm really looking forward to getting our stock of this from uh, War Snow post Black Friday, so we can start work on Kind of like it's probably going to be like a sort of zen japanese mountainy board so like a temple in the mountains a lot of um, foam core cut rocks with temple pieces in, in between so if you enjoyed the video please comment below obviously follow the channel to get updates on other videos there's a link into our facebook channel a link to the warsnall page below